Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today I'm going to show you how to display hints or little instructions in your text boxes until the user enters a value. For example, here we can see we got Paragon as the first name. Last name isn't typed in yet, so it says in little gray letters there, enter last name, right? Any of these fields that are null or empty, we'll put a little hint in them to help the user to make your database easier to use. And best of all, this is an expert level video, so we can do this without any VBA programming whatsoever. It's a little bit beyond the basics. I put expert kind of after basics, but before developer. So there's a couple things you got to learn first. We'll go over the prerequisites in a minute, but first let's take a look at the question. This question was posted in the forums by David from Bellevue, Washington, one of my gold members. David says, I'd like to show the field description in the text box when there is no data in the text box, like a shadow, until the data is inserted. And of course, right away, my moderators posted some awesome ideas. Adam posted some good ideas. Alex posted the easiest solution, which is using the format property, which we're going to work with in just a minute. I'm going to add a little twist to it, though. Kevin Yip added some ideas. And so let's take a look at what Alex said. He said, you could use the format property for text values. It'll be like this. You put a little at that says put normal characters here if there's a value, right? And the semicolon and then something after the semicolon is the value that gets placed in the box if the value is null or empty. So we can use that to show hints. Now, I'm calling them hints because there's also something called control tip text. And I did a whole separate video on control tip text, but this involves, like right here you can see it, this involves the user hovering their mouse over a control. Okay, so that doesn't help you if you want to just see in all the text boxes what the instructions for those text boxes are, like we're going to do today with these. It involves a little more work, but I think you'll be happy with the results. All right, so what are those prerequisites you're talking about? Well, first you should be familiar with the format property and how it works. If not, go watch this video. Now, so that we can make the colors different, we can make these gray, we're going to use conditional formatting. So if you're not familiar with conditional formatting, go watch this video first, and then go watch this video because there's a special way you have to handle conditional formatting for null values. It's not easy, but this video explains how to do it. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it in just a minute. These are all free videos. They're on my YouTube channel. They're on my website. I'll put links down below in the description. Go watch these first, and then come on back. All right, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can grab it off my website if you want to. Now, in here, we've got a customer form. And just to keep things simple, so I'm not going to do a million fields because it does involve some manual work here. But what we're going to do is we're just going to simplify this form for now just for the purposes of class. I'm going to delete a bunch of stuff. Let's get rid of all the fields except for this stuff. All right. I don't feel like, I just don't feel like typing a million things. Okay, so we got four fields here. We're gonna ignore the ID, right? Four fields. I wanna put instructions in here. We're gonna use the format properties. So we're gonna open this guy up, double click, bring up the properties over here. And right here on the format tab, the first one is format. This is where you're gonna put your format, duh. And it's going to be the at sign, semicolon, and then whatever you want the instructions to be inside of quotes, like enter the first name. Real simple. Here, I'll zoom in so you can see it to the people in the back row. All right. It's the at symbol, semicolon, and then in quotes, enter the first name. Really simple. I'm going to copy this to my clipboard. Let's go to the next one. Paste it, and it's going to simply be last name. All right. Next one. Paste it, and be careful because you can't double click here. It'll erase it if you double click. I don't know. It's one of my pet peeves, but you got to do that, and then you just got to select this and then enter uh, the email address or whatever prompt you want. Obviously for fields like these, these are simple, but I know some of you guys, me especially, you got databases where a field might not be common sense, like what goes in here? You could put your instructions this way, right? And then enter the phone number. All right, so we got our instructions in place. Now let's save it, close it, close it, open it, and there we go. Now if I go to a new record, there's all my instructions. And if I go to any other fields, like you can see here, this guy doesn't have a phone number. If I delete this took, right, the instructions come up. Now, that's and that's great. And that, that was what Alex, Alex suggested. And I love this tip. But I'm going to take it one step farther. I'm going to add, 
further or farther? Let's see. In depth, further, right? Farther is distance. I'm going to take it one step further. And I'm going to say, well, if it's just the instructions and not actual data, let's make it gray. Let's use conditional formatting. Okay, now, if you watch the other videos, you know, conditional formatting has to be handled a sub separate way. You can't just say, you know, if, if it equals something. Um, and, and in fact, Sammy, I'd add that to the list of possible upgrades because you can't just select these, right? Go to conditional formatting. And it'd be nice if you could just say if the field value is and then null was one of these options. Null or empty, but it's not. All right, so we got to use a trick. We have to use the is null version. So we're going to go expression is... And then over here, we're going to say is null, open parentheses, open square bracket, and I'm just going to put XXXXX in there. That's where the field name is going to go. Close bracket, close parentheses. Okay? Because, again, another one of my pet peeves is if you don't put this in brackets inside of parentheses, then conditional format is going to try and switch that to quotes. I hate that. It's a pet peeve of mine. It's been driving me nuts for years. Microsoft needs to fix that. Um, if we don't have spaces in our field names, there's no need for those brackets. Let's set the color over here. I'm going to go about midway here in the gray, like light gray three. Hit OK. Hit OK. All right, now let's save it. Now we just have to go through and edit each field and put its field name in there. I just did it so it copies the formula and the color for all of them. Now you just got to open each one of them and then come in here and then change this to first name. I know there's no other simpler way to do this. Uh, just, you just got to do it. That's why I only wanted to do four fields because <laughs> I don't feel like sitting here and doing all these fields. But you'll do this for each one of the fields on your form. There's last name. We'll do email. Double click. Email. Hit OK. Open this one up. Conditional formatting. Double click. Phone. And I'm done with my four fields. Okay, you do whatever fields you want. Save it. Close it. Open it. Let's go to the end. Oh, look at that. See? These are null, so you're getting your null format and your null conditional formatting for the color. And I think that looks sexy. Eh? Isn't that nice? So now they go to the new form. Type in the first. Okay, type in the first name, Rick. All right, now, yeah, it's going to stay gray until they're done typing. There's really not much you could do about that. Except maybe we could try adding a field has focus conditional formatting as well. Let's go into design view again. Let's try this. I haven't tried it yet. Let's try it together. Now, at this point, you can't select all of them and add another conditional formatting because it will replace what's in there. I hate that. It's another one of my pet peeves. But you have to do them individually. We can do them individually. Okay, so we'll do first name, conditional formatting. We're going to add a rule. And we're going to say uh, field has focus. And then let's set the color to, let's go yellow and black, like that. OK? And I'm going to move this one up so it goes first. If the field has focus, you'll get this. OK? Hit OK. Let's test it with just that one. Close it down. Open her up. All right, field has focus there. Tab. OK, looks good. Let's go to a new one. Tab, tab, tab. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. This is what I want. Okay, so let's go back in here, design view. Let's apply that to all of them. Now we can't, again, we can't format paint it because it'll overwrite the other ones. So I'll just do, I'll do one more on camera. You can watch it. All right, so it's last name, format, conditional formatting, new rule, field has focus. We're going to go yellow and then black. Maybe make it a more subdued yellow. You could do this first in the one and then and then format paint it across all of them. Um, and, of course, move this up to the top. All right, I'll do the other two off camera. All right, save it, close it, open it. Looks good, looks good. All right, let's go to the last one. Mm, okay, there's, there's, we'll put in here Richard again. Tab, Rost, tab, uh, amicron at gmail.com. I think I got it. Oh, I don't. Okay. And then, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew I had a primary uh, a relationship set up so that this is unique. We'll make it Amicron too. There we go. That's just my, uh, my indexing kicking in. No duplicates. All right. So there we go. That's working beautiful, right? If, a, if the value is null, you get that. If it's not, you get the regular look, right? And if it's got focus, you get the, the yellow there. 
That's pretty cool. Uh, thank Alex for the tip, and I just added the conditional formatting to make it look better. Now, another thing that I like to do that I've done before, I like to do little floating hints. They look like control tip text, but it's like a little floating label. You ready? It looks like this. Watch. Look at that. It says enter first name. It pops up a label above the field you're on. See? And if I tab, enter last name, tab, enter email address, tab, what's your digits, right? Where you live, okay? And that's a little floating label. It, this does involve some VBA code. And I will cover this in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. Gold members can download the databases I build in the tech help videos and they get my code vault and all kinds of cool stuff. So there you go. But thanks to Alex for the tip and everybody else for their suggestions in the forums. That's going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube.
Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels. Silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.